Hey there guys and welcome to more players to watch out for in FIFA 14 minutes near in here and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the players that uh, missed out on the first video that I did about players to watch out for in FIFA 14 in the under 21 section rather than the under 18 section and there's a lot of talent on showing this video don't think that because they're in this more players to watch out for video they're going to be terrible because they are pretty good and here first of all we've got Ballon Berisha the Norwegian central attacking mid who plays for Red Bull Salzburg. He actually has a brother called Veton who still plays for Viking FK, which is the team that Valon Berisha used to play for, who's actually pretty good as well. I think he's a year younger. Uh, Berisha has actually made 40 appearances this season for his team in the Austrian Bundesliga, scoring six goals. And you can see he's got great agility stats, as well as balanced ball control and uh, shot power. So he's good with long range shots. He's also got high attacking work rate and very versatile. He can play at centre mid, attacking mid. Or out on the wing with three stars, uh, we put four star skill moves. Now, next up, we've got Nico Lopez, the Uruguayan striker from Roma. Again, another player with great agility, ball control, and dribbling stats. He is a striker, as you can see, 70 stat there. Pretty good indeed there. Got good skill attributes. And you'll see his age in a minute. I may have mentioned he plays for AS Roma. He does, he plays for AS Roma. And um, he actually starred in the under 20 World Cup for Uruguay. That I think Uruguay got to the final in, actually. The only thing in is with him, he's got low defensive work rate, which doesn't really matter a huge amount since he's a striker. He can play on either wing as long as a strike as well as a striker or since forward, and he's only 19 years of age. Now next up we've got Nemanja Gudel, who probably looks utterly terrible to you guys, but he has actually got a speciality which is the engine attribute, as he has good work rate, something you don't see very often in young players, so that's why he's got the engine. Uh, speciality. His stats do look obviously very average, and he doesn't look very young, to be honest. I'm probably questioning whether he's actually under the age of 21, but he is actually 20, and he plays for Nuck Breda currently on this FIFA 13, but actually his great performances in the Eredivisie have earned him a spot at AZ Alkmaar for next season. He actually made 34 appearances for Nuck Breda last season, scoring uh, 5 goals. The only problem is he's not very versatile, as he can only play as a centre mid, but as you saw a moment ago, he has got high attacking and defensive work rate which will help you out a lot when it comes to playing games. Now, next up, we've got the Chelsea loanee, Lucas Piathon, who currently plays for Malaga. I don't think he's been loaned out yet this season, so he could be a very interesting target for a lot of uh, lower, sort of, mid-table Premier League teams. Maybe the Championship teams are going to be starting up with them as a loan target. He's got great ball control and dribbling, uh, as well as fantastic agility as well for his age. He's 73 stat, a left mid. As you can see, not great strength, but that's quite common in wingers nowadays. It's one of his only red stats when, uh, when it comes to non-defensive traits. And as you can see, he got four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, but with medium, medium attacking and defensive work rate, which is fantastic. And as well as playing at left mid, he can also be a centre mid or an attacking mid at the age of just 18. Now, next up, we've got Leo Baptistao, the striker who, again, has just moved teams. Unfortunately, there's a lot of these players uh, who, are, who have starred this season, who have gone from... Uh, mediocre teams, which is obviously great to find them off. You can easily sign them to good teams, so they probably won't be available in the first season. But here, Leo Baptista, currently plays for Rio Vallecano on this game, but he's just recently signed for Athletic Madrid. As you can see, 76 stat striker, has great sprint speed and agility, along with attacking position, ball control, and dribbling, which means he'll develop into a dribbler, uh, probably a speed stat, and in fact a poacher as well, possibly if you play him enough. He's 19 years of age, he's from Brazil, can play as a striker or a centre forward with three star weak foot and three star skill moves. As well as, fantastically, actually having a high attacking work rate, which always helps the cause. Now, next up, we've got the best player in terms of stat out of this group. And this is Juan Jesus. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting that right. Juan Jesus. Yeah. Anyway, he plays for uh, rather than Juan Jesus, which probably a lot of people say. But anyway, he's a centre-back who plays for Inter Milan. I've never actually heard of him before this season's FIFA, but he's got fantastic aggression and interception. So, great mental attributes, along with jumping. He's actually quite quick. Uh, for a centre-back as well, so he'll develop, you know, into quite a speedster, which is always handy to have in defence uh, when you're coming up against wingers and uh, uh, fast strikers and such like. Anyway, he's also got great marking, sliding tackle and stand tackle attributes, which you would expect from a centre-back, uh, as well as being only 21 years of age. He's quite tall, so he's got some sort of presence in the box as well when it comes to defending. Um, from corners and the such like. Now, next up, probably someone you've actually never heard of in your entire life is Izet Hadrovic. Well, I say never heard of, unless you're Swiss-based, you're from Switzerland, in which case you probably have, because uh, this guy has been pretty much lighting up the Swiss league this season. He plays for Grasshopper Zurich, and as I know, he hasn't actually signed for a new team yet, so he might be quite easy to uh, grasp off them, even, or pry away from them. He's got fantastic acceleration, sprint speed, and jumping, as well as dribbling, 
free kick accuracy and shot power. He's like an all-round. Like if he, I mean, if he develops onto the next FIFA, I mean, he'll be great to have in ultimate team. Maybe someone you know non-rare, underestimated player. He's got high attacking work rate as well, which is fantastic. Not very versatile, but he is twenty, right mid and four start weak foot as well as as I said, I think he's from Switzerland as well. So ignore the name; he's not actually Serbian. Anyway, next up we've got another player who impressed in the under twenty World Cup which France went on to win, as I know now. Last time I made one of these videos, I didn't actually know whether they won or not. Uh, and it's Jeffrey Condogbia, the very strong centre mid, uh, well, defensively, actually, on this game, from Sevilla, who has 93. Is that strength? Fantastic strength for a young player, as well as great stamina, interceptions, shot power, and stand tackle. So he's a very handy man to have in the centre of midfield. Just to steady things up, a bit of a Lucas Leiva-esque. I, I choose him because I'm a Liverpool fan, so... There's, there's better defensive mids out there, but a bit like that, just to steady up the ship. He's also very tall, so a great presence in the box again for corners. With two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves, uh, which is a bit of a flaw, but, you know, other stats do bring his sort of overall ability up. But anyway, next up we've got Florian Torvan, another French player in Brest in the Under-20 World Cup. Uh, more average stats here. He's only 70 stat uh, and the left winger at this point. The only green stat he has is sprint speed, but I, I'm pretty sure... This guy will have a great upgrade in the next FIFA because he played fantastically for the French under-20 team. He can also play on both wings as well as being an attacking mid. He's actually his actual stronger foot is left, um, and he's got three-star weak foot even and four-star skill moves. Currently plays for SC Bastia, but he's actually on loan from LOSC Lille. Um, so yeah, that might be another loan target. And then finally, we've got Domenico Berardi. I think one of the youngest players on this list. Again, got great acceleration and sprint speed, which you now come to expect from pretty much every winger on this game. He is 70 stat. I'm not entirely sure what team he plays for. I've not seen that badge before. I think it begins with a G. It's like Grossuelo or something like that. Or um, No, it begins with an S. It begins with... But anyway, he's 17, 6 foot 1, which is quite tall actually for a winger. He's got... Uh, he can, he's quite versatile, in fact, even, as he can play on either wing and actually up front, which is quite handy as well as, long as, as, well as having 3 star weak foot and skill moves. Uh, but yeah, he hasn't recently transferred either, so you could easily fire him away from the Serie B team that he currently plays for. Now, next up, three players who are not on the game currently, but will be next season. Um, I just thought I'd go into this because actually you'll probably never have heard of them unless you're from these countries. Uh, but they are players to look out for next time. So first up, we've got Sime Vasiljko, 21-year-old Croatian centre-back who has just recently signed for Genoa from Dinamo Zagreb. Now, the reason, obviously, he's never been on FIFA is because he's played for Dinamo Zagreb his entire footballing career, I think. Anyway, apart from youth level, maybe maybe he played for another Croatian team. But nevertheless, that league isn't on FIFA, so you'll never have seen him before unless you're a football manager fan, in which case you probably have heard of him. Uh, so, yeah, good news. He'll be on the next FIFA. Now, next up, we've got Lazar Markovic, who is the 19-year-old Serbian left winger, who used to play for Partizan Belgrade. Again, another league, uh, another team, sorry, that's not on FIFA 13 because, the, well, the Serbian league isn't on there. Um, so Partizan Belgrade won't be. And thus, he hasn't been either, but he's just recently signed for Benfica in a massive amount of signings Portuguese teams have made over the last few weeks and days. Benfica and Porto have been going insane in the transfer window. And, uh, yeah, so he'll be moving to them. He's a very handy winger, and I expect he'll have very good skill moves, agility, and balance, along with a bit of speed to boot. Now, finally, we've got Georgi Milanov, 21-year-old Bulgarian attacking midfielder, who I think used to play for a team called Litex in the Bulgarian uh, League. He's just recently signed for CSK Moscow in the Russian League, so he will now be available uh, to sign. He's Bulgarian, as I've momentarily just said. That makes no sense, but I'll carry on anyway. And uh, again, another player you might have seen on Football Manager. I've signed him in Football Manager saves before. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. That is about it. And goodbye.